Fresh Laws here and I'm going to be doing as promised the trickle charger which I have the shoemaker um, installation of the positive and negative and with that is on my Yamaha Bolt R spec and if you guys are subscribed to me you do have a bunch of videos that I posted and thank you guys for all your comments and your subscriptions and um, and please uh, subscribe if you're not and I will show you everything I have and everything I'm doing and I have more to come for Gators I'm gonna test out a new different LED uh, more different customizations I'm gonna attach the LED um, nighttime lights on my license plate uh, I'm gonna change uh, do the fender eliminator kit which is gonna remove the black so please subscribe guys I have a bunch of videos but today we're gonna do the trickle charger which is a must and uh, especially in the winter or after you ride your bike any kind of bike just plug it in and um, it charges it overnight it maintains it you don't have to unplug it it just when it gets low it just continually charges all right so i'm going to start from there so we're going to have to do a couple things we're going to have to remove the seat we're going to have to remove the the battery compartment which has the two allen wrenches i loosened up the screws already but there's still a lot to do we're going to have the adapter we're going to we're going to need a, a 10 millimeter um a socket wrench with an extender we're going to need um a screwdriver we're going to need your key we're gonna need a five metric five Allen wrench. All right, guys, I'm gonna get started, and uh, and first I'm gonna grab is the key, and with that I'm gonna put the key. Let me take off the maintainer because we don't need it now. But I'm gonna take the key. I'm gonna insert it into my utility box there's a plug on on the right side of it you're gonna have to pop it out and pull it up and that's what it looks like keep the key in there it's fine and then I'm gonna take the extender and if you can see in there there is here's what it looks like so there is one bolt and there's the bolt right there and this one bolt is what holds this whole seat. So there's only one bolt and then there's a underneath attachment for that as well. So I'm gonna be removing this bolt right now with the 10 millimeter racket, uh, ra socket. So we're not playing tennis, sorry guys. Um, okay, so I'm gonna stick it in there with the extender and here is the bolt very easily, kind of tight when you take it out, but we're gonna put it on the side. So to remove the seat, you just lift up and pull back, and that's all. So this is the only thing that connects the bolt. This back lower thing is what holds it with this right here. So kind of pops underneath, very easy, very simple. Um, so here is my fuel pack, it's kind of dirty, wow. So here is my fuel pack that I did have installed, heat re, uh, heat wrap, uh, shrink wrap all throughout. It's got the buttons for the different codes you can add and here it is. And I keep it right there but today I'm going to actually put it under the, the rubber holders. Okay so there are a couple things you need to do before you get to the batteries. There is the rubber computer holder which you're gonna pull up and back which is connected to this right here you're gonna and this uh, battery connector right here so you're gonna pull towards the gas tank and back and there you go first you're gonna do is lift this right here and there is your negative right there and your positive is actually you have to remove the, the other section Okay, so let's install the negative. I'm gonna grab the screwdriver and with that wire that's connected to it right now, and as, if you can see it's right there and then there's a wire connect, that's actually to my 
uh, fuel pack. So on, so before I do that, on my adapter, which is right here, there's a red and a black. So uh, this is the positive, red is the positive, black is the negative, so that's what we're gonna be doing right now. And always wanna see where this is gonna go. I'm gonna probably put it right underneath and it's gonna go into my compartment right there on the side. So I did remove the bolt and here it is. Here's the bolt right here. So, and it has my old wire. It's got the copper connectors right there. And I will put it into the bolt right there. So I slid it right on. I'm gonna take my screwdriver and connect it back into the negative port. So this is how it's working. And then I'm going to tighten it really tight, if you can. And make sure you don't want to go over each other. And, uh, there we go, so it doesn't get loosened and the negative adapter is connected. Now all we have to do is the positive right here. So on this, we're gonna get to the other side. And for this, we are also going to need the, we're gonna need the screwdriver. We're gonna need a metric five Allen wrench and I used any kind of removable screwdriver tip end to pop this back. These are kind of hard in there, so you kind of want to, and use a metric five because you're gonna strip the Allen key. It's gonna look bad as well. So this is what we're gonna be removing and we're gonna be removing um, the box right here. So what I did was I took it, placed it on there, and I popped it back with this. Gave me a little bit more leverage so I loosened them before just to see where everything goes so we don't sit here together for 15 hours. Here's what the, the bolt looks like, the Allen wrench bolt. And basically, there are two ways we can do this. Same thing with this, I use the little bit of leverage from the screwdriver holder. You want to hold this so it doesn't scratch your bike. And this just comes off like this. So this is what that looks like. So if anybody hasn't seen what the these little uh, battery covers look like, I'm going to put it on the ground with the screw. And this just pops off. Basically holds your battery. And right here is your battery. It moves, goes in and up, and right here under this plastic is actually um, your positive connection. And with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the screwdriver again and I'm gonna loosen it up. And once you loosen it up, Grab, grab the bolt. Make sure you don't disconnect anything or anything else as well. I'm gonna slide it under this right here. So basically it slid under. So if you wanna take a top look right here, I took it and I slid it under one of the, one of the bars. So basically I have it right there. There's a black thing covering it, which is the plastic. I don't want to go too far and kind of kind of go under everything. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to put the screwdriver, put it in like that, and then just connect it back. I'm gonna lift the plastic bar up.
Make sure you don't bla uh, break the plastic. Just lift it up, tighten it very well, and boom. And to take off one of the screws, you also, if you have a back seat, uh, passenger seat, just lift that bar down. And there you go, there's the installation. So now, we're gonna do a run for you too. So we're gonna install everything back, just so you guys know how it all goes and how it's all gonna look. The battery's on. There's two clips that go on the side right here. I'm gonna push over. I'm going to put this back on. And with that, pull the bolts back in. Grab your Allen key, which is a metric five. I'm gonna seal it very nicely so it doesn't pop out at a later date. And I will have a video of me plastic dipping this black. So let's get to the other side, or actually we're gonna take a top view look of how to close everything out. I don't want anything getting disrupted during this process, so. I'm gonna put my adapter through underneath the computer allocator so it doesn't uh, disrupt anything. I'm gonna put that back into its place so it doesn't wobble or wiggle around. So I'm gonna do that. And before I do that, I will put my fuel pack under there as well so it doesn't fly around. So if you do have a fuel pack, it's a nice thing to have. So there's two cords. So the first one is the battery holder, which I'm gonna take back, pull up towards the tank. Make sure that the bar is facing down. It'll be easier. to get to, if I can actually do it. There we go. It's locked into place. And if you want to take a top view look, it's right there. And then I put the little bar under there. So we have one more bar to connect. Which is this one right to this port right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it back, and there you go. Everything is connected, everything is tight. We have the, the adapter port. So all right, this is what it looks like. The adapter is right here. We're gonna do a quick test for it too, and test the, the charging port too that I bought. So here it is, it's sticking out the side. We're, we're gonna find a good place and a good home for it. First, let's put on the seat and see how that goes on. So obviously there is a hook on it. So we're gonna go into the hook. So it is connected. That's a very important part. Okay, and then 